Hey everybody, Model Man here with probably a final update or close to it on the paint booth here. What it is, is the ultimate smoke test. They're all set at a few different angles. I'm going to realign a couple of them actually before I start. There are a couple notes. Not only is this going to be testing how the air currents work in this, but it's also going to be testing the fume capacity as well because these incense stink. Incense sticks from the uh, dollar store definitely have a really bad perfumey whiff to them. And uh, so there are two settings on this paint booth 293 cubic feet a minute and 428 cubic feet a minute. So we'll see what that really translates to. There are a number of things I'll be doing here. Uh, first of all, the dust guard here will be repositioned at a few different heights from completely closed to uh, slightly open and so on, up three or four notches. I found that completely off, basically the air intake overall is like 50-50, so it's really, it really needs to be on to function as well as it does, and there's some really great airflow going on from all the tests that I've been doing have shown. So let me double check the position of all these guys and uh, we'll get ready to start up. We've got one full stick of incense. When this one goes, all the tests are over. I'm going to be getting some high speed footage of this as well, 120 frames a second, up to 1000 frames a second, and uh, it's going to be some pretty cool stuff I think. So let me get to it. So first up. Uh, why don't I show you overall what I'm kind of expecting. As you can see the air in here is pretty lazy. Not a lot going on. Just kind of hanging out. Let's step up to uh, low power and see what happens. You got some currents developing in the back there. All of this old stuff is starting to turn into a couple funnels and waves. Keeping in mind that simply trailing the incense stick through the area and my hand as well is creating their own air currents. However, if I'm working in the booth with an airbrush and a parts, then that's also going to be disrupting the air current. So I think that's going to be overall a neg negligible sort of thing. However, having all of these other incense sticks here, that's going to show what a default state would really look like. So, so far, a lot of general turbulence, I would call it in the area here. There's definitely a few patterns to it. I've done some preliminary tests as I think I mentioned and what I've seen is there's a big funnel that starts developing as essentially what's going on. The air from outside, and that's pretty much anywhere outside here, it's got a really good draw and I'll also show the uh, guard here at this height and down at this height so you can see how much of a difference draw is going on but pretty much straight across the board all the air really likes to get pulled into there and that goes for several inches out but just above there's definitely a cone going on and basically there's a fall off that starts somewhere around here and drops something like that down there but directly in front of it, there's essentially a very large bubble of air. Even this stuff right here is getting pulled right under and in it goes. So that's some really great air currents going on right there. The closer you get to the floor, the more likely it is that the air is going to be drawn all the way across to that corner. But then as you get to this corner, the air kind of straightens out and it goes straight back again but there is a heavier draw on this side than the other. At 293 CFM low power, I've found that with an incense stick directly on the floor, 
smoke pretty much goes right to the next hole down and it's not like it has a choice if it's right behind a hole it will still go to the next one rather than go upstream so there's a lot of air getting drawn all the way to the back when you finally get back here in some cases it almost doesn't even matter because even though if you put the ember directly above the hole you'll get suction if it's right next to it it's just as likely to fly off as go anywhere else up at higher power 428 CFM uh, it can go a little further above the surface but not too much so from there the smoke travels pretty much up to the back wall and starts to circle around however if it gets too close to the floor here the edge is really strong everywhere. These corners here up above a few inches are pretty much uh, dead zones that go straight up and start billowing back into the central uh, kind of a donut roll sort of thing. Any air directly behind the glass will go straight up, and right now I've got the sneeze guard in place. And what will happen is the air will just go up to this corner, start billowing back down, and then get pulled into the donut roll over here. Where it goes from there, I don't know exactly. As you can see, directly above the floor, there is a layer of suction that just pulls everything right down to it. It doesn't do that on the sides, but it will also do it on the front here. In some cases, smoke will start billowing back down the glass. Once it gets to here, you can still see it, but then it gets pulled into this draw and gets thrown all the way back to the uh, back of the booth. So with the incense sitting just about an inch or two outside of the booth and me an inch or two further away from that, I cannot smell this at all. But, remove it over here. Oof don't need that so this is really great news overall now design note on this booth is that I've lined it with a set of magnets every three inches so I'm going to incorporate handles but for the moment I have to uh, pick up one side and it's kind of heavy that's getting to be about three inches out now that's right about four. A little more than this, and essentially the smoke will start free raining into the room. Oh, wait a second, yeah. One thing I have noticed though is that smoke that billows up the outside of the glass, if it doesn't get too far up, it will get drawn along the glass and back inside. Like all of this smoke here, a lot of it will go back down, but some of it does get lost up the outside. And then for the third setting, so I believe that it's at this width that I'll be mostly working, if not the one below it. This gives a lot of room right here to bring equipment in and out from. Uh, but the line right here would just be about in the way of where I'm working depending on how I'm sitting. So we'll see how that works out. However, so I am assured of good airflow overall and uh, this probably wouldn't even be a bad situation to uh, do all the gluing in. One thing I mentioned was that as soon as this incense stick is done, 
so are all the tests and stuff. So let's get them underway.